Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. Over there, we have John Lundusky. How are you doing, John? Hey, I'm pretty good. If you guys did not see our public announcement and of, of, of our post on, what was that, Saturday night or sat, early Saturday morning around midnight that day, um, John was is, is still currently battling COVID. Um, I was battling, um, as they call them, inner demons. Um, I had some mental health issues that I needed to tackle. So I thank you guys all for being so patient and being there for us and understanding that, you know, we're human too. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you know, we're not just some machine that keeps pumping out, you know, eventually the machine breaks down for a little while. Um, I thank everybody because, you know, um, today is a very special day. Um, obviously, it's Martin Luther King's birthday. And um, one of the things me and John always take pride in in looking at this day is the uh, cultural history of it all. Um, Martin Luther King was one of the greatest men, men, and I mean men in the purest form, to uh, 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 greatest man maybe even to ever live because he didn't see anything other than as things were and always told you as it was and how things need to be fixed. So the man always was a forward thinker and always moving forward. Um, why John used his quote and he didn't make history, he was made by it. And that's why I chose that, because um, we all do things and, and, and try to change the world, um, sometimes for the better. Sometimes we think for the better, and it's not, but we make mistakes as human beings. It's our flaws that make us perfect. Enough with the mental health mumbo jumbo here. We're going to get into these uh, games today. So far, the Everblades and Admirals have played. Um, the Admirals took on the uh, Iowa Wild, uh, the farm team to the Minnesota Wild. Um, on that team is actually a very good hockey player and Eric Stahl. Um, today also the Everblades took on the Atlanta Gladiators. I forgot who their farm team is. I will have to check that out eventually. Um, but we're gonna start with the Admirals first. Um, the Admirals outshot, were outshot 35 to 26. Um, both teams were uh, didn't score on the power play. Admirals 0 for 3, Iowa 0 for 2. Um, scoring in the first period was Zach Han Solo. I joke because Solo, Han Solo. Hopefully you guys get that. Um, uh, then former more, former Wisconsin Badger Joseph Levate with the assist with his fourth and in his fifth 500th career uh, pro game, Matt Tennyson gets his eighth assist of the season. No scoring in the in the second. Um, there was a call in the second um, where Cody McCall boarded for for boarding. It was a boarding major. Um, on Dylan Blue, just Blue just it did return to the game, but left with a little bit of discomfort. Um, hockey players are, you know, no, notoriously tough, but I don't know what the extent of his injury is. I don't think he did. He just wanted to finish the game, and for that, I give him credit. Um, scoring in the third at the 422 mark was Rocco Grimaldi with his 13th goal of the season. The uh, Grim Reaper at it again terrorizing goalies in the AHL. Uh, 13th on the season with an assist from Dylan Blue, just his third and Graham not his seventh. Uh, then at the 1916 mark with the EN was Mitch McLean torching his uh, former team for his fourth goal against the Iowa Wild this year. His 10th of the season. And out of 10, out, out of those 10, only and four of them have been against Iowa. Uh, with the assists were Anthony Richard and Rocco Grimaldi. Richard's third, Grimaldi's ninth. Um, your three stars of the game were Rocco Grimaldi with a goal and an assist, second star with the game winning goal, Zach Solo, and with the shutout, Connor Ingram. Way to go, Ingy. Good yeah, way to come back. Uh, the Admiral. <laughs> Um, something that we 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 kind of bro breeze through these stats a little bit. 
Um, coaching staff for the Iowa Wild is Tim Army, assistant coach Nate DiCasmaro, Dis and assistant coach former Milwaukee Admiral Captain Nolan Yonkman. Uh, head coach for the Admirals is Carl Taylor with a former Milwaukee Admirals captain, Scott Ford, who followed Nolan Yonkman, which is kind of odd. Um, uh, Ford was the captain after Yonkman had moved to San Antonio. Uh, assistant coach, also Greg Rollo. Um, attendance at the Wells Fargo Arena was 3,200 people. Um, but before, I, before we get into our next game, something a little bit, this team has really bonded during this road trip and has really started to play as yeah. a collective unit. And when you start to play as a collective unit, you find yourself in situations where um, your team plays for each other. And that's what you have to do. You have to right. play for every man on that bench wearing your jersey. Because guess what? Yep. If you do that, you've got a better chance of getting called up, better performance. And, well, I'm sure that most of these guys have incentives in their contract, and they want to hit those incentives. Right. You know, whether it be AHL or ACHL, NHL, all of them have incentives. On to the Florida Everblades. The Florida Everblades have been doing very well lately um, outside of their game on Saturday where they fell, um, but they're still at the top of the league, oddly. Um, the Everblades were outshot 37 to 34. Uh, scoring in the first, nothing. Uh, scoring in the second period was Cameron Keeley. Um, for the Atlanta Gladiators with an assist from Mitchell Horsher and Luke Nogard, former Florida Everblade. Uh, then the Everblades get on the board uh, with Chris McKay with an assist from Kyle Newber and Michael Neville. Newber's having a really good season as a guy who has, um, um, you know, the, the play style he has. Yeah. Uh, Newber's been doing a lot better statistically over the last month or two. Uh, there's a little bit of a moment here, and I please wait for you guys to pause because I have something coming up that I really want to talk about. And I'm grabbing something for a salute here because normally these things don't get to happen. But... Scoring the next goal at the 1958 mark, literally, there was like, what, 0.2 seconds left? Two seconds left in the, in yeah. the second period. Uh, John McCarron scores, uh, putting them up 2 nothing with an assist from Jordan Sandbrook. With that goal, John McCarron becomes the number one leading point getter in Everblades history. Stick taps for you on that one. You guys, you earned it. Every goal, every point, every game. It is not easy to do this on a year-to-year -year basis, especially playing at that at the ECHA level, because right. at the end of the day, every player's goal is still to get to either the. If you're in the E, your goal is to get to the A. Once you get to the A, the goal is to get to the NHL. So those are your goals, but he seemed right at home in that with the Everblade system, and for that, kudos. Um. After that, however, in the third period, scoring for, well, let's just go this route then. Elijah Velo scores on the power play with an assist from Mitchell Holscher and Cameron Keeley. Um, that puts the game tied. That was a power play goal. Then a shorthanded goal by Elijah Velo with an assist by Mike Pellick and Mitchell Holscher. Then scoring on an empty net, Elijah Velo giving them the hat trick, the win, and Atlanta beats the Everblades four to two. Um, in net for Atlanta was. Chris Nell stopping 35 of 37. 
And in it for the Everblades was Tomas Bumanska stopping 30 of 33 with a point nine, 90.909 save percentage. In that manner, uh, where are you? Um, you know, uh, good game all around. Um, yeah. Vamanska uh, hasn't played in almost a, almost three weeks, so give him a little bit of slack there. He hasn't <laughs> he hasn't got to play much. Uh, being whether bounced between here and Nashville on the taxi squad or whatever's going on there, but we're going to be uh, circling back to that shortly. Speaking of uh, the Nashville Predators, uh, they play tonight against the St. Louis Blues, if I remember 100%. Correctly. Yeah. And also the ECHL All Star Game is tonight, so we're gonna I'm gonna be taking a look in that into that as well. Thank you guys for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. Have a wonderful day, and see you guys soon.